Mercedes Martinez of Las Vegas Now recently had a virtual one on one Vegas resident and former headliner Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. He is joining forces with the Cure for the Kids Foundation and also working on a brand new single. That's all in today's entertainment report. Mr. Nick Carter, or should I say the pink crocodile, the mass singer? What is, I mean, some, some thought it was a surprise, some were not shocked. How was that whole mass singer experience for you? It was so much fun. Um, you know, I thought, I thought to myself, this could be something that my kids would really love. Uh, it's such a family oriented show. Um, you know, it's just, it's just clever and exciting, and, and to be able to compete. You know, there there was a lot of incredible, uh, incredibly talented uh, people that I was up against, um, Grammy Award winners, and just, you know, just to be in that company, I, I was just so, so honored. You make Las Vegas your home, and it's so yeah. great to have you as such a, a, a great, supportive local. I, I refer to you as our Las Vegas' own personal St. Nick, and you do oh, a lot of you. great things thank for you. the community, thank especially Cure for the Kids Foundation. What? Yeah. Tell us more about that. You know, there, there are families who are who are dealing with you know pediatric cancer, um, and you know to be able to have a place that they can turn to, um, you know, if you're a local in in Las Vegas in Nevada, uh, you can go there at, free of charge, and they'll take care of you and your children, um, and then neighboring states as well. You know, so I just I just thought to myself, you know. This is this is not a time about me. It's about other people and and what they're going through right now. And so that's why I connected with them. A couple of things during quarantine, you've still been entertaining us with. You've got some solo music that mm -hmm. is coming out, and then yep. also this collab with Britney. Uh, the Britney thing was really cool. I thought that that I thought I might have inspired uh, Britney a little bit when I did the Toxic on the Masked Singer, and that that was one of my best performances. I'm addicted to you. Don't you know? Maybe she was like, oh, I like that. Let's do a song together, you know, <laughs> might have worked. Uh, but, you know, um, yeah, I have been recording new music. Um, I have a song called 80s Movie that's going to be dropping this, um, this Friday, uh, New Music Friday. It's going to be on Spotify. It's going to be on iTunes. Um, I wanted to do a song on the heels of the Masked Singer after people hopefully were entertained and enjoyed my voice. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, okay. Maybe if I could find a, a song that would just kind of be like the Home Alone version of <laughs> uh, of a song, you know, <laughs> like with Macaulay Culkin. That would, yeah. So, yeah, I, I did. And it's a great song. I think people are going to really like it. I like him. I've never seen an in-depth interview with Nick Carter before.